Hey everyone, Mary Drassey, CEO and founder of Mary Day Wellness, your overall wellness coach for busy moms and your virtual midwife. So premature birth can be challenging and emotionally draining, especially for mothers who often bring unique, which can often bring unique mental health concerns. And the emotional and physical toll of preterm birth can also lead to a feeling of guilt, anxiety, depression, and even trauma. So here are some of the insights and strategies to support your mental health um, when you have a premature baby. So the emotional impact on mothers and of um, preterm babies, you know, the guilt and self-blame, mothers often feel responsible for the early delivery, even, even when it's um, beyond their control. Anxiety, the uncertainty surrounding the baby's health, hospital stays, developmental milestones can trigger constant worry. Um, postnatal depression, which is also called PPD, premature birth increases the risk of PPD, especially when um, combined with the stress of a NICU stay. Trauma and post-traumatic um, uh, disease, the experience of a premature delivery, medical interventions and the fear of the baby's survival can lead to trauma symptoms as well. So looking at the factors influencing the mental health. Length of stay um, in the NICU, prolonged stays can heighten the stress and feelings um, of helplessness. Medical complications of the baby, obviously the severity of the baby's condition influences maternal mental health as well. Social and emotional support, um, and the need for strong support system can significantly improve the outcomes. Also, previous mental health conditions, um, a mother having history of anxiety or depression may be predisposed um, to mental health challenges post-birth. So it's important that you share, you know, your previous histories with a healthcare professional so that we can support you during pregnancy. Coping strategies and support. There are professional counseling, therapies such as cognitive and um, behavioral um, therapy, CBT, can help mothers to process their emotions and also develop coping strategies, support groups, supporting or connecting with other mothers who have had premature babies can reduce the feelings of isolations. Also mindfulness and stress management um, practices such as meditation, deep briefs, um, journaling can help manage anxiety as well. Involving in the care, participating in the baby's care, example, you know, kangaroo care or feeding, fosters a sense of empowerment and um, connection. And education as well, understanding the peer maturity and its potential outcomes can alleviate the fears of the unknown. Family and partner support, pretty, pretty vital. I cannot emphasize enough on it. So partners and family members should offer emotional and practical support, encourage rest and self-care and mother or monitor signs of severe mental health issues like postpartum depression or PTSD. Seeking professional help. If a mother um, experiences any of the following, it is essential to seek professional help. So there is persistent feelings of sadness or guilt or hopelessness. There is also difficulty in bonding with the baby. Intrusive thoughts um, or flashbacks about the birth, um, physical symptoms of anxiety, you know, heart racing, insomnia, um, not being able to sleep thoughts of self-harm or harming others, all these things you need to report, you need the support as well. Re um, looking at the resources for support could be postpartum support um, uh, international, which is a PSI, provides resources and a hotline for postpartum mental health issues. Match of Dimes um, offers information and support for families of babies. Um, neonatal intensive care unit parents networks. Also, many hospitals have local programs or partnerships to support parents. Listen, the journey of having a premature baby can be overwhelming, but with the right support and resources, mothers can 
navigate the challenges whilst prioritizing their mental health. So having open communications with healthcare providers and loved ones is crucial to ensure um, they receive the care they need. Also, because there's a global um, prematurity awareness month, make sure that you go to your um, local hospitals because each and every, the care that's provided might be different um, wherever you are based in the world, all right? So make sure that you are in touch with the local hospital and then uh, basically get to know, you know, their policies and guidelines and um, the steps that it takes to support your baby. If one country is doing it, it doesn't mean that the other country will definitely be doing going that through that route. So make sure that you are well informed, you are educated on the steps that, um, or the care that's provided for babies in neonatal unit. So if you need someone to talk to, make sure that you book a call with speakwithmaryd.com. I hope you're enjoying the series, all right? Um, prematurity Hour in this month. Let's get it going. Get your people in your network to like and subscribe this channel and come back and take tips and strategies so that you can share uh, for, you know, friends, families, you know, even in the community. All right, then. Have a blessed day. Bye.